Statement by Philip Lowe, Governor, Monetary Policy Decision. At its meeting today, the board decided to increase the cash rate target by 50 basis points to 1.35%. It also increased the interest rate on exchange settlement balances by 50 basis points to 1.25%. Global inflation is high. It is being boosted by COVID-related disruptions to supply chains, the war in Ukraine, and strong demand, which is putting pressure on productive capacity. Monetary policy globally is responding to this higher inflation, although it will be some time yet before inflation returns to target in most countries. Inflation in Australia is also high, but not as high as it is in many other countries. Global factors account for much of the increase in inflation in Australia, but domestic factors are also playing a role. Strong demand, a tight labor market, and capacity constraints in some sectors are contributing to the upward pressure on prices. The floods are also affecting some prices. Inflation is forecast to peak later this year and then decline back towards the 2 to 3 percent range next year. As global supply side problems continue to ease and commodity prices stabilize even if at a high level inflation is expected to moderate. Higher interest rates will also help establish a more sustainable balance between the demand for and the supply of goods and services. Medium-term inflation expectations remain well anchored, and it is important that this remains the case. A full set of updated forecasts will be published next month following the release of the June quarter CPI. The Australian economy remains resilient, and the labour market is tighter than it has been for some time. The unemployment rate was steady at 3.9% in May, the lowest rate in almost 50 years. Underemployment has also fallen significantly. Job vacancies and job ads are both at very high levels, and a further decline in unemployment, 